Age of Ultron was released back in 2015, with a massive VFX shot count of over 3,000. It had so many that it became the Hollywood film with the most VFX shots right up until Avatar. The Way of Water was released seven years later. It took ten different VFX vendors close to two years to produce all the effects for the film. Dean Egg worked on the truck chase sequence, amongst others, which not only involved creating a CG truck asset, but also creating the Ultron Sentinels, a CG train and CG dust, debris and pyro effects. For the Hulk and Ultron, ILM created what they called a monster mirror, where the actor could sit in front of a computer screen and, via real-time markerless facial tracking, drive an animated version of Hulk and Ultron's face using ILM's facial animation system called Muse. This allowed the actors to understand how the character would emote and look. This scene was shot in a woods in England. None of the snow is real, it was all paper snow. The exterior of the Hydra Fort was, in fact, a fort in Italy called Fort Bard. Territory Studio created new visual identities and UI for the technology seen in Avengers Tower, including Stark Lab and Banner's Research Lab, the Quinjet Aircraft, the evil Baron Von Strucker and his Fortress Stronghold, and Dr. Cho's Advanced Medical Lab. Most of the big sets were built either at Shepperton Studios or Long Cross Studios. Quicksilver's speed trails were a combination of the photographic trails, which came from the photograph plate as well as the visual effects trails. Both were blended together. The first step was to shoot a slow motion plate at 120 frames per second, or 72 frames per second depending on the necessities of the shot, and then blend it together with the visual effects trails that were created using various techniques in Nuke. One of the major challenges was creating the third act set piece. The Eastern European city of Sokovia doesn't actually exist, so part of the sequence was shot in northern Italy, in the mountains, and another was shot at Hendon Police College in the UK.
The original cut of the movie was three and a half hours long because, in addition to the story of Ultron, it also attempted to dive deeper into the stories of three big MCU characters, Wanda, Quicksilver and Vision. The director Joss Whedon was forced to cut over an hour off the original cut of the movie, whittling it down to two hours and 22 minutes. This left the audience with the feeling that the film had bitten off more than it could chew, and left the director unsatisfied with the final result. Basically, Age of Ultron had too many new characters, with too many big stories to tell in too short a time. In one movie, it had two or three movies worth of material, and this led to the VFX teams having to produce two or three movies worth of VFX work for just one movie. 